Yo, what is up, guys? Here we go. All three modes today. Whatever we get, we'll play. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. All right, off the bat, we got a threes game. We got uh, Chaves, Insole, and Glocka. We got Garrett P on our team. <laughs> Funny. Chromie and myself, of course. Let's see how this goes. Insole is a good player. Used to be a professional years ago. Not sure if he's uh, trying to go pro again or not. But I'm sure he still has what it takes to at least be a very solid competitor in this match. Not sure how seriously he's taking the game anymore, but I know he used to be a very, very good player. So we'll see how this goes. Wide or over. Nice. Take my time here. No point throwing possession here. I can let him come to me a bit. Played to the left, watch myself. Played over all of them pretty much. It's a good touch from Insul. Let's see what Garrett P does here. It's a good block. All I have to do there is block it. I didn't waste much boost, so. Actually, a pretty good situation for us. Went on the left here. Let him go again. I don't really have any kind of play on that. Oh, I was hoping he'd fully leave it for me, but it's okay. Off the wall. Oh, that's just going to be a goal. There's another guy there, though. I didn't want to shut up shoot. If I shut up shot, I would have been saved. I figured that was the smartest play to do what I did back there. Should I hit off the wall with my teammate? It would have been the goal for sure, but as well blocks from them. They had someone blocking everything necessary. Good job from Chromie. Actually, an insane play. Low 50 to both of them, and was able to keep possession and keep the ball really close. Was able to get a nice pass middle. Gave me a lot of options, a lot of time to shoot that. Pretty hard for me to miss that situation. I played over one here. Should be enough. Two minutes and get a good play on this. I'm gonna go all the way back. So give me some options. That way if the ball gets over all my all my teammates, I should be able to be of use here. It's fine. I did more than enough there. Force the ball high. Can be back off a boost. Let my teammate go, or at least force the touch. I could wait in net here. Shot's not gonna be perfect. I'm well aware of that. I know the shot's never gonna be like Absolutely perfect top corner there, so I don't have to panic for it. It's good to play those situations more passive than not, because often not, more often than not, the shot's not gonna be like top corner really fast. I guess something a lot of people do wrong, especially when they start playing better players again to the higher ranks. A lot of people assume every single play is gonna be perfection, and it's just not the case. Pros make a lot more mistakes than you'd think. The highest level of player will still not hit that shot perfectly every single, single time, so... Definitely don't expect someone in like flat or gold to hit that every single time, is what I'm trying to say. But on these ranks, it does happen. It does definitely happen, but... Even if it's a perfect shot, it's actually saveable most of the time. That's why I think the... Patient route is better, more often than not. Very few situations you actually have to pre-jump for, I think, in that... But most of the time, it's pretty obvious when you do need to. Do the touch. Gotta wait, though. He has a big hit here. Again, it's not gonna be a goal. I'm gonna just wait. No way he's gonna be able to shoot that. Let my teammate hit this forward. Any kind of shot on that's good there. I can't get a powerful shot, but I can get a shot that at least forces him to play to the corner. Which, uh, eventually will get us possession anyway. I think it's good. Trying to beat him here. Can't get a... Good touch back and kill him. Maybe go for one more. Play it middle. Go for a bump on my way out. Both went. That's actually really good for us. So me even just starting a bump there, I think might have forced him to go for that a little earlier than he would have wanted. If you're coming back like that, that's the best way to be useful, I think. Threaten a bump in that kind of situation. And more often than not, you're going to make them panic. Get a touch that they at least didn't want. It's a good block. Every time I'm blocking these shots, I'm trying to save at least 50 boosts. That way I can recover quick after the fact. That's why I'm still able to be here and get a shot out of that. Because I saved my boost at the right times. It's all of what threes. Wow. Garrett P is 24 points. I just realized that. Wow, that's unfortunate. Might be a shot here from Crow. Good try. Again, I'm just going to fake this. 
hits it away, it's fine. It's not going to be the fastest touch. I'm still trying to just force him to hit the ball away, pretty much. In situations. Follow up. Not any boost here, but I can just wait. Nice touch. Can have another touch. I'm just going to go for the boost. Play to the right if he wants to pass. A little bit behind me, but I can wait for the bounce. Played over one. Hit try. It's a good option there. The pass was behind me. Usually, you want the pass to be leading you on a bit. You want it to be a little bit ahead of you. See me messed up a little bit, but... Oh, wow. That was extremely laggy. It's okay. Team went for it. I think it lagged past him. Yeah. The ball lagged off of his the back of his car. And that's both of us. Unfortunate. It makes it a lot easier if your teammate just goes straight back there, but... At the same time, if I waited, that guy's flick is not going to be good at all. I could have just saved it easily. So both ways would have worked. Teammate going straight back and just letting me challenge for him. He would have had a free save. If I just let my teammate challenge for me, I would have also had a free save. That's a good opportunity to cut rotation. I don't think my teammate was necessarily at fault there. It's honestly unfortunate that um, there's a little bit of lag on the touch. What just happened? Did I save it? Did he save it? I don't know. I don't know what just happened, to be honest. But I'll take it. All right, good first game. Let's get into the next one. Let's see if we can keep it up and get back to back dubs. And get P with the solid 46 points. We can all now pretty much guarantee it's probably not Garrett G. Garrett G would have at least gotten 48 points there, at least, minimum. We, we'd have to expect that from him. But yeah, let's get to the next game. Let's see how it goes. All right, we got two's game here. We got Tricky against Sniper, Matt, and Sandvik for the last game. I'm not going to cheat on this one. Just going to play a little bit patient here. Let's go back wall. He doesn't have much of an angle. He already messed up. He didn't give himself a lot of uh, opportunity on that air dribble. Let's get a challenge, though. From him, to cut rotation. Do a little bit of a nuisance. Fun. Oh, the bump would have been huge there. Actually, it would have been so important. Would have probably gotten the boost plus the ball. Had a lot of time to make a play off that, but. Let's play round one. Try to bump him. My teammate. Nice. Drop my teammate to be ready for that. I think it's the best play to make there again. If I flip that up middle, he probably reads it, cuts it off. And gets a goal off of it, so best case scenario there, just go for a bump, leave it for my teammate. It's gonna be a free goal. Again, pretty hard situation for my teammate to end up missing there. No, I didn't my flip anymore. Should be a goal, maybe. Nice. I didn't have my flip anymore. I would have been a goal, but we had beat on the first guy. Made it really awkward. And then me not having my flip also faked that the other guy because he thought I had my flip. So he's trying to block my shot there, which never ended up coming through. Nice. Good turn. Actually, well done from uh, from Tricky. Good start to this game. I'm really just trying to block him there. And I was trying to rotate behind to get back. For worst case scenario, because the shot's probably going to come in pretty quick there. Good to be ready for it. That was actually a really good try. I, had, I think I had the whole net blocked though, so... Even if the shot was perfect, like under the bar, I probably would have had it. Waiting for pass middle. Alrighty, well, Tricky's just going the solo route, but he's scoring, so I'm not gonna not gonna blame him. He's getting goal after goal right now. Haven't had to do much. Play the one here. Off the back wall be good. Good save from him. Try to bump one. It's gonna make it a little bit harder on their defense to get back. I'm actually surprised by the fake there, but I, I don't dislike the situation. I feel like it was smart because it does end up keeping possession. A doesn't throw away his position. A left pass would actually be good here, but he does seem to like his solo plays. And they have been working, so I don't blame him. Try to give myself some more options to deal with this. Ah, it's a good, uh, good play. He opted for the do nothing with the ball strat, and it does work more often than not because when someone has so many options in that spot, it really does end up working. Just a low 50. Fake here. Try to get a bump in the other guy. 
I'm gonna attempt. She's gonna go all the way back here. She may should go for me. I could just try not to get killed, but I got killed. <laughs> Pretty much all I could do there is just try to avoid the demo in some way. But he was hunting me down. I'm not gonna go for this, no point. Let to go for this now. Let's interfere with him. I'm gonna fake this. Keep control. Play to the left side. Just some space. Get the boost as well. He now pretty much has no play here. He just has to hit into me. Again, just doing the same situation. Faking. Played to open space. Didn't get the demo. My card just is made of rubber. But it is okay. Played to river one. Fifted him as well. Maybe a shot here. It's gonna be very hard. Actually, really a pass though. He's gonna have a touch around me. I try to cut this off. Wait for his hit here. Try to insta challenge off his first touch. He might have a free ball, and I bumped the other guy as well. Second bump would have just been a goal off of that, but I still have full boost behind you. Interesting. He just played it around me. Not the best time to play around. I feel like you could have had a goal out of that if you just played it a little bit differently, but it does still work. And they kept possession for a bit off of it. I fake this. I had a feeling it'd work. He's going a little bit too fast. He's playing a little bit too close to me there, so I gave myself a lot of uh, options with the fake there. It makes him look a little bit like silly there, like he's not playing it right, but he actually was. Had I hit that properly, it would have been following it into the corner and beat me to it. I'll try to do something interesting, like a little reverse wave dash fake. Have a lot of momentum going toward the ball, and then as soon as I'm about to hit the ball, I just back off. Last second. Try to keep this low for 50. Then kill time for my teammate to get behind me, which he is. All I have to do is just wait now. Play it over him one more time. Not gonna be enough, but to make him keep it in, maybe. Might be bad. Not sure if I can get back. Gonna insta go. Why not? Should be fine here. Play it one more. My teammate. Just leave it now. Pick the mid boost or back boost, actually. I'll try to go for a bump. Whoa. He hit it a couple too many times, but this is the right idea for a pass. All right. Good games for today. Actually, pretty solid stuff. I think we're actually getting close to the top 50 part of some of the leaderboards. So, pretty solid. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is, when you guys are watching this, like, comment, subscribe. to see you guys all in the next one. I love you. Peace.